So I'm going to do a three single crochet and a chain three picot stitch pattern repeat. So three single crochets, two, that's three, and then I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. So I'm now going to slip stitch into the last single crochet I just made but the difference is is that I'm going to come from through the back of the stitch so instead of going from front to back I'm going from back to front and I'm keeping that chain three at the back. I'm going to pull through my yarn for a normal slip stitch and then I'm going to pull it nice and tight and I'm still got the chain three sort of at the back and then I'm going to do my next three single crochet so as you can see that method really makes the uh, the chain three stand up really nicely and gives it quite good definition so just go over that again so I'm going to chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to slip stitch into the last single crochet I made, but I'm going um, through the back of the stitch to the front through both loops. I'm kind of keeping that chain at the back and then pulling through my slip stitch and making sure that I pull that nice and tight and then three single crochet. one. Two, three. There we go. There's another one. So here's a lovely row of them. They almost look like little crowns, don't they? Um, this is actually from my um, wash, uh, sorry, soap bag pattern, mesh soap bag pattern, um, which you can find on mezacraft.com.